Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com and this is a tutorial on how to make something I call uh, a secret geode gift and what it is is it's a geode, like a, a rock like a geode you can see it there, you make this rock and if you're familiar with geodes, they're, um, they're formations where they look like rocks like this but inside of them is oftentimes a lot of different types of crystals and different colors and stuff like that. So you would crack them open with a hammer and see what you got inside. They're really neat. And I thought, hey, you know, maybe we could, uh, I could simulate that and make one myself, uh, a, a, a fake one. So that's what I did. And I used a product called Cellu Clay, and it came out really good. The rock is nice and solid, and it's hollow inside. And I've just recently completed it. So now, what you could do is, you know, I have something made inside here that I'll show you in a minute. And I guess the the real thing about this tutorial is is how to make this this geode shell. And what you put inside is totally up to you. You could put um, pictures, some kind of a little gift. You could put crystals. You could put a paint a scene in there. You could you know make something and put in there anything at all you want. If you wanted to give a gift to somebody, you could wrap it and put it inside, and then give them the rock so they'd have to open it up, which is pretty neat. So what I have I have it done here. So there's a a weak crack going all the way around it that I can open. So why don't we uh, take a look inside so you can see what I made inside the secret geode. All right. It's pretty neat. I there we go. So there we go. I made a nice little diorama scene from the animated feature called uh, Tangled. See the little, the little castle there. That's kind of neat. I like So if you're thinking about making some kind of a unique Christmas present, there you go. I think this would be pretty unique. So be creative and you think of something that you want to put inside your geode. So let's launch right into the tutorial and I'll show you how to do it. And I do have this tutorial also in pictures and more explanation on my website at stormycastle.com. Okay, start by making yourself a ball of newspapers and wrap it with masking tape. Make it nice and tight. And then wrap that with aluminum foil. This way you can separate it from the cellulose clay. Now mix up some cellulose clay. Just add water to it. That's all you do. And then put a thick layer of cellulose clay around the whole thing. Make it a good half inch thick. Okay, it's hardened and it looks terrific. And now I'm now I'm brushing on white glue to strengthen it up. So just plain old white glue, brushing it on, a nice layer of it on the whole thing to harden it, that shell. Once the glue dries, cut it in half, right down the middle. Okay, there we go. I've cut it in half and I've removed the, the newspaper and paper middle. And I have the nice open shell now of the geode. So now I'll apply glue to the inside of the geode to further strengthen it. <coughs> Now let's build the diorama. I used clay to make the basic shapes. I used a modeler's putty, Procreate, to make the little tower. Put the two together, put the tower in the scene. And add uh, your different, you know, diorama making features and you're done. Okay, this little project is just about done. As you can see, if I haven't pointed it out already, I've got all the little diorama stuff in there. A Rapunzel's tower from the movie um, Tangled. Looks great. Now we have to um, seal this back up. So what you should do is um, get yourself a rubber band, put your two halves back together, put a rubber band on it, get the seal right, and then mix yourself up some more cellulose clay. Not a whole lot and then put that on the seal all the way around but you don't want it you don't want it to be a fantastic seal you don't want it to be a perfect seal you just want it to hold it together reasonably strong so it can be taken apart again and I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show it to you when it's done see like this just enough to hold it reasonably well but so you'll be able to crack it open when you want to crack it open Okay, so now I've um, put the cellulose clay on it and sealed it. 
and I used a pencil to score the line all the way through the whole crack in it and I think that's a good idea to keep that so you know exactly where to cut this thing open so now I'll let it dry and it'll be done and you could paint it again if you wanted to make it look more like a rock in different colors or paint it colorful if you wanted but try to maintain your line so you'll know where you can where to crack this thing open